Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Thursday, Thursday, June 20th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to number seven vibration. And today is your birthday. Happy birthday. When it comes to the spiritual guidance, we are guided with the worm energy and the worm is in the reversal position and the worm as a spirit animal brings me to being grounded it brings me to being present and the energies in the day does add up or reduce to number seven vibration i feel like that is so fitting because the number seven energy is ruled by Neptune energy and Jupiter is the ruler of the day. So Jupiter is associated with Thursday energy. So with Jupiter tying into today's energy, Jupiter is going to amplify whatever it is that we're feeling, whatever it is that we're dealing with, whatever it is that we're going through. And I, with the earthworm energy coming out in the reversal position, I feel like that's fitting with the Neptunian aspect of the day, the number seven, the energy is adding up and reducing to the number seven, calling us to go within, calling us to reflect. But with the earthworm in the reversal position, that is fitting with the moon in Sagittarius. And with the moon in Sag, the last thing we want to do is feel our feelings. The last thing we want to do is sit with our feelings. So instead, we could find ourselves wanting to just get up and go for the sake of going, just be on the move or with the Sag energy. This is where we might educate ourselves, try to learn something. But with the moon and Sag squaring Saturn and Pisces, the reflection that's needed to learn something is probably going to be challenging today where it's like everything around you is forcing you to be still like today's a day where i sympathize with people who are extroverted extroverted meaning that uh, people who are energized from being social and communicating and connecting with others because today's energy feels like there's a vacuum pulling you within no matter what where even if you're in a social environment everybody is within themselves pondering something within themselves so people might look up and try to be friendly um, and speak and say hi and even in conversations it'll almost be as if it's hard to hear each other unless it's something that's in depth unless we ha unless you're present enough to make that connection um, the day is the 20th and with the day being the 20th, the number two is very sensitive and with the zero next to it, that sensitivity is amplified. So there is this emotional thing that we're reflecting on, this emotional thing that we're trying to understand on a deeper level. Uh, maybe say yesterday, Wednesday, the 19th, something may have came up and today you're trying to understand it, understand it on a deeper level. And, you know, the emotional aspect to it, to the day today, you know, can make things feel a little bit more sensitive than normal. I was looking at my calendar earlier because I wanted to check with something, check, check for something. And I realized that today is the day of summer, you know, so happy summer. <clears throat> and when it comes to, say, that aspect, um, it's interesting how, say, today is the beginning of that. We're entering into that energy. But it's like we're deep within ourselves where when I think of summer energy, I think of like extroverted energy. But today's energy calls us to be introverted. So it's almost like um, I'm thinking of what was crossing my mind is for me growing up. Um, and some of you could relate 
when you're getting ready to go to someone's house but after a while you didn't even have to get these pep talks before going to people's houses because you just knew you know as a child it's like you know you, you get in the rules before you go to somebody's house and how you about to behave and not and how you're not about to embarrass yourself because you might get a spanking over there or embarrass your parents or whatever but you know it's like today's that pep talk babe but it's an internal vibe and you know with the earthworm energy it's like we got to be still but with the moon and sagittarius we don't want to be still you know we want to be on the move we don't want to feel what we're feeling we want to project our energy outside but everything is happening and in inside and it's like you got to stop there first like we have to stop go within reflect and understand whatever about ourselves that needs our attention at the moment and once we understand that thing, it's free to go because with today's energy, we're seeking, we're searching for something. And whatever it is that we're searching for, that thing can only come from within us. No matter what anybody says, no matter what books we read, content we come across, yes, those things will help to activate or help you to remember, which is putting the pieces back together based on what it is that you already know what's within but it all has to come from within. So with that Jupiterian energy ruling the day, Jupiter is opposing the moon and Sag. So there's this push and pull energy where it's like moon and Sag, we want to explore things on an in-depth level. Jupiter and Gemini, we want to focus on the, 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 the surface of things, not necessarily get into the details of things, um, just pretty much like, with Gemini energy, the way how I always imagining it is like going to the restaurant and instead of committing to a whole meal, instead what you would spend for the amount of room in your stomach that it would take to consume a whole meal, instead you have variety and consume a bunch of appetizers instead of just focusing on this one thing. And to me, that's that Gemini Sag energy. Uh, Sag is like, you know, focusing on a certain, you know, focusing on one thing, giving one thing your attention when it comes to exploring and learning, you know, higher education, going in depth within a thing. But Gemini energy, it's like, okay, I'm curious about a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And, you know, that's fine because sometimes we could go about things in that way and then eventually put them all together. I know for me, I like to approach, uh, things in the Gemini way. Um, but then if it really catches my attention, that's when I dive in with that Sagittarius energy. But Jupiter energy is ruling the day and it is positively aspecting Pluto and Aquarius. So with the positive aspect being made to Jupiter between Pluto and Aquarius, you know, there's this transformative energy when it comes to our connection with others. There's this need to be social and wanting to connect and willing to make the changes that are necessary in order to have a more in-depth connection with others. But at the same time, you know, there's that aspect when it comes to being social and communicative, but the moon, the inner world is restless. The moon, the inner world doesn't want to be still. Um, for the tarot, we have the six of wands in the reversal position. And yeah, this energy is like, you, you ain't going nowhere. It's like, there's this stagnance to the day. It's like with this energy here, it's like, they won't allow me to be great type of vibe. The way how I'm perceiving this six of wands in the reversal position, it's like, I imagine the person who doesn't know that they need validation and instead not realizing that they need a lot of validation and instead perceive interactions in a different way. Meaning when I look at this energy here, I think of the person who's done something great. They've achieved something, but the people around them aren't mirroring that energy back to them. So because the people around them are not mirroring that energy back to them, it's almost like they can't give themselves permission to celebrate themselves. They can't give themselves permission to enjoy the moment on their own. And I've been there in the sense that it's like, you know, I'm looking for, you know, the people who care about me to re uh, respond the way how I feel excited about what has happened. And it's like, that's just not their response. And for a while I used to be offended. I used to take it personal. 
But then, you know, I realized like that's selfish of me to expect them to respond a certain way because I would respond that way. And instead, like, you know, over time, and it takes time, everything takes time, commitment, consistency. But before even spending the time and being committed and being consistent, we first have to be aware of the situation, aware of what's happening. And over time, like I learned to be my biggest, my biggest fan when it comes to everything, you know, be my biggest fan, be my biggest cheerleader, be my biggest hero. It was just earlier today, I was taking a trade and I recorded the trade. I don't know why my voice just shook or whatever, but deep down, I do feel a little bit emotional about it. And I was taking the trade and I was saying in the in the video, in the recording, how proud I am of myself because I remember when I just started and not even that long ago, it's like the minute the market opened and there's action, I just got to jump in and be a part of the action. And even when I thought I knew better, I still had to jump in and be a part of the action. But I'm looking at how I've grown to the point where it's like I'm able to stop and recognize that I'm waiting for something specific to happen and be patient and wait for that thing to happen. And once that thing happened, then I execute and it was a win. And it's like patience, patience. I had to learn to be patient, but not even that. I love how I was able to reflect and realize how far I've come with you know my behavior with my discipline so you know that's something that might be beneficial for you when it comes to just all aspects of your life do you ever stop for a second and pay attention to how the you in the present moment is showing up in relations to how the old you would have responded or handle um what it is that you're dealing with what's in front of you we have to learn to become our biggest heroes and our biggest cheerleaders. We have to learn to validate ourselves because whoever validates you owns you. And for a while, I gave other people permission to own me, you know, own me and didn't even realize that's what I was doing. Because if we're waiting for people to validate us, then that means that we're going to do what we need to do to get there praise, you know, for them to say, good girl, good boy, you know, that kind of reaction. Of course, they're probably not saying that, but they're responding in that way. It's very similar energy to when you're a child and you're hearing the good girl, good boy to an adult and just being validated. And it's like, who validates you, owns you. And it feels good to get to a point where it's like, yes, you appreciate the congratulations or the positive words and encouragement at the same time you give it to yourself and of course there's never you know nothing's ever perfect because i'll have moments when i'm feeling okay and i'll log on to the youtube studio and start responding to the comments and it's like wow this this encouraging comment just came just in time and i needed it because even though i'll work on myself and you know work on being present and, and and redirecting energy and whatnot, there's still moments when I doubt, when I question, when I'm uncertain. So, you know, I feel like that's just a part of it, but we got to learn to validate ourselves. We got to learn to validate ourselves. And yeah, when it comes to today's energy, um, the last thing we want to do is sit still sit in the feelings and feel them um neptune energy plays a big part in today because the energies in the day does add up and reduce to number seven vibration and neptune is part of a trine between pluto and aquarius and um and uranus and taurus jupiter and gemini so if you want connection today if you want connection the best way to connect is being present in the connections and being present in the connections is, you know, like having a conversation and when you're communicating and it, and you're listening to the other person, you're not listening and thinking about what you're going to say. You just listen and you take it all in. And then after they're done speaking, you, you reflect and see if there's anything you want to add to it or not want to add to it. It's like just being present in the moment. That's um, something that's encouraged today. It's something that's necessary. But of course, our moon 
our inner world and the way we're talking to ourselves just don't want to feel today don't want to feel don't want to deal with certain things like time today time just feels like an issue today there's something about time whether something is taking too long and i feel like more than likely it'll be too taking too long or not wanting to wait something that you're normally patient for might have a hard time being patient for that today and just want to ground yourself the sun enters into cancer today and with the sun the sun is our identity is who we identify as and that's now joining venus and mercury in cancer so with all of that going into cancer energy it's bringing us into a more introverted introspective state so there will be some aspects of our psychology where we want to be private we want to be secretive we want to hide for the sake of hiding but then there's other parts of us that want to be social. So for me, when the sun enters into Cancer and other things happening there like Mercury and Venus, this is where, yes, we are social, but it's more intimate. It's more intimate where it's like this is where, you know, you connect, but it's only the people that you feel safe enough to bring them to the fourth house, to bring them to your sacred space. And when I say bring them to the fourth house, not meaning that you feel safe enough to explain expose all your business or whatever but it's like intimate connections with people who who make you feel safe who make you feel secure so it's like we're still in social energies but the social dynamic just switched from when all the energy moved from gemini into cancer it went from you know social and wanting to chit chat and connect with just anybody where it's like maybe there's more focus on the mother or motherhood or the family or the household but the things that are sacred that's where the social focus will um, be with uh, the stellium that's now happening in Cancer. It's such a pleasure sharing this message with you. Hey guys, I wanna share with you seven benefits of getting a numerology natal chart awareness coaching session. The first one is understanding your internal programming. The second one is becoming more clear about your purpose and passion the third is setting goals for success the fourth is awareness of strength and areas of improvement and the fourth one was foundational for me because whenever you're aware of your weaknesses no one can use them against you and when you're aware of your strengths that makes you unstoppable and that is why i say self-awareness is a superpower the fifth benefit is removing obstacles we first have to become aware of a thing in order to remove it in the first place the sixth benefit is understanding relationship dynamics we don't have to change the people in our lives we have to become aware of ourselves and start from there and everything changes and the seventh benefit is upcoming transits if that's something that you would like to look into because you're planning for something or you just want to be aware so if you're interested in booking a numerology natal chart or coaching session or learning more about it the link to book or the link to send me an email for questions are both within the description box below if you'd like to check out my patreon where i share exclusive content the link to check out what's happening on patreon is in the description box below please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a purple heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does take care of yourself and i look forward to seeing you in the next video